Here I have my latest video that I did on creating a habit tracker app. Well, I also have a fresh Instagram that I want to start posting to more often. So I decided to create an MCP server to do just this. I first had images uploaded to Amazon S3. I then created my Instagram MCP server with four different tools, able to refresh your access token, upload image without a caption, upload image with caption, and then upload a carousel post, and then finally publish that media. Then I gave that MCP server to my crew AI agent. So I have my MCP server adapter, given those tools from MCP server, I give that to my crew AI agent, which is an Instagram agent. And then I have my task, which takes my latest YouTube transcription. I give it all those images. For this example, I hard coded the image locations in here. Then finally, we kick off the crew. So again, here is my bare bones Instagram that you can follow, but I do not have that post yet. Now running it, whenever I started it, it gave me all the available tools from my image server, which there are a total of five. Crew AI started reasoning how it was going to do this. So the plan is it needs to first upload all images to Instagram so that they all get their media IDs, which will then be used for the post. So Instagram will provide, provide the media IDs for the carousel post, and then we'll create the caption, actually use the upload carousel post function so that we can upload all that media together. And what that actually gives you is a media container ID. And then you call a function publish media container, which takes that ID. And now it's officially on your Instagram. So here it's uploading my first image. We get back the ID. It does this for all of them. And then next it's creating the caption for the post. From all that, we get a media ID. We publish the media container with that. Then we get our final ID, which is used from the Instagram publish. Then finally, at the end, we publish that media container. And when we do, we now have our Instagram post. And then we can come here and look at all the images. Now I didn't format the images precisely to how Instagram needs them or how it would look the best, but we got the post on here with a created caption with the created images. And we let the server deal and understand how it wants to do that using a crew AI agent. So let's dissect this a little bit further. So we see exactly how this happens and all this will be available for you. As soon as you join my school community, the first thing is I will have a detailed explanation of how all this works, because a lot of this just comes down to how these social media platforms deal with their APIs and creating all these posts with images and so forth. But you ha I'll have the links for you need to create an application from developers.facebook.com. Now, the first thing they're saying how this works is that you have to first upload any media, whether it's reels or images to Instagram first, they give you IDs. And then when you create what they call the captions, which are the actual text that go along with the post, whenever you create then create a caption along with all the media IDs you get, which can be all the images or reels, whatever that is, you attach those together. Then you get what's called a container ID. And then finally, they have an API method that actually posts that container ID to Instagram. And then you will then see that on your Instagram page. And also in my school community, I have ways that you can test all this out with fast API in the background. As you can see, I'm also developing Twitter and LinkedIn as well, because I don't really see a platform that does everything that I need to. And I get all of my YouTube information. So it becomes automated. But the idea of creating an MCP server is amazing because guess what? This means that anybody can use it. All you need to do is run the server. And you can also run this with Claude code cursor or any, any MCP client possible that you use, whatever you use, you can use this with. It's that easy. That's why I love MCP servers. I'm really starting to like them more and more. But what I did was I created five different MCP tools to do exactly what I just explained on how it works. So first off, we have to wrap five different Python functions with an MCP dot tool. I give the name and description. So it kind of understands a little bit more of what it needs. This is just refreshing uh, Instagram access token, which we don't need to worry about right now. But then we have a tool to upload an image without captions, meaning that you're just uploading images to their servers and then we get the media IDs from them. And then you can upload a single image with a caption and this actually just becomes a post. Then with the upload carousel post, it's the same thing. We upload a caption with an image, but this time it's with several images. It's more than one. And you can tell a difference and you can tell the differences by the API endpoints. But again, you won't have to worry about that because it's an MCP server. And then finally, the last one is publishing the media container. This means this is when you'll actually see the post on your Instagram. You don't have to worry about this too much because as you saw, 
every the agent handled all that with careful instructions it was able to do all this for me as you can see a lot of this code is doc strings and with the name descriptions of the mcp tool so that just just to make sure that the agent understands when it uses the MC, mcp server what each tool or function that it's using actually does and just as a side note you should never use mcp servers especially from like a third party that you don't really know what they're doing they they might tell you what they're doing, but you should always check out the code. And if you can't, then I wouldn't recommend using it. Now you can always trust me, but generally that's just, you know, even with me, you should just understand what's going on as well. Just something that you should get used to doing is verifying that what people say they're doing actually works. Now we're getting to the point where we actually can use the server. All right, so we first off, you have to import MCP. You have to have the pip install MCP, crew AI tools, et cetera. But when you do, the command and arguments, this is, we're just running the Instagram server, Python file. We're gonna be using Python 3 as the command. You can use Python depending on what you have on your computer, but then we just have to give it, basically you just have to give it the Instagram token account ID. These two, they'll, they'll, they'll be the same. I have that in the readme, but you will have to create a .env file for your token and account ID. Then with MCP server adapter, which comes from QAI so that we can give it as tools to the agent, we create an Instagram agent. We pass every, all, we pass the tools into this agent. Then I create the task. Now here I kind of have it hard coded what the, my last transcription from the video was, but as I had shown you before, I can actually automate all of this. It, I actually have something every hour that checks on my last, uh, my last YouTube video, and then it will transcribe that for me into a Postgres database. But then I give it all the image URLs that should be for this post. Then I just give it some instructions and the, based on the user input, this is basically saying, basically saying, is this a single image post or should it be a carousel post? And then we have the crew. So I have the agent, the task and the crew. And then finally, we kick this off and that's pretty much it. Now, the hardest part about this is honestly getting everything you need for Instagram. So again, to go over how this worked, you I print all the tools that are available from the server just so I know what that agent is doing. And then I'm using O3 and telling this agent to, do, to use reasoning. So here it's using re reasoning based off of everything that I gave it, some of the actions, right? Like right here, here's the tool usage. Here's what it knows to do. It needs to upload all the images without captions. So the IDs create the car carousel post, and then finally publish that ID we get from the carousel post. So what does it do? It takes each of the images, uploads them using the tool from the MCP server, upload image without caption, does that for all seven. Then the Instagram agent says, okay, here is the caption. You know, I don't need to use a tool for this, but then it uses the upload carousel post to create with, see, here's all of the children IDs plus the caption. And then this is the tool output. So the output is this response ID. And then we get the tool. And then from there, we get an ID output, send this to the published media container that takes that ID and then finally post it. And what else we can do is we can use this with actually any MCP client. Once it's a server, it can be used anywhere. So here, what I have is I create an MCP server in my cursor settings. I just have Python three, cause that's what I have downloaded. And I just basically give it the direct access to where this is on my computer. And then of course you have to pass in all the environment variables as well. And once I've done that, I have five tools enabled for my Instagram server. I had it research how to use the Instagram API and I gave it a link to one image. And I said, go ahead and use this MCP server to upload the information. So I'm gonna have it say, go ahead and run the tool. It's gonna to call upload image with caption, meaning that this is a single image this time with a caption or the text to go along with it. So if I open this up, here were the parameters. Okay, so it's automating, you know, it's automating whatever. It's the caption and it's it was given a media ID. So it's passing in that media ID to the published media container. So I'm gonna run this tool and the result is that it should have been posted successfully. Okay, so here we were with the last post. Now let me refresh this. And there it is, here is here is the image. And I mean, the, it could have done like a better summary, but the point was that it was able to do this using an MCP server and that's just how powerful this is. Now I know that I can use it with any IDE or any MCP client or what, or even now agents, I can have 
this MCP server upload posts for me, which means this can be a machine for uploading posts, but I think I'll save that for another video. Okay, make sure you subscribe to me on Instagram, but more importantly, join my school community below. This will be all ready for you to use. Thank you for watching. I think this is gonna be a huge time saver and can potentially make you money because you're able to much more quickly create social media posts. And this is just Instagram. I'm already working on, I've actually already tested Twitter and LinkedIn. I just gotta do some cleanup, but all these will be ready. Thank you again for watching. In the meantime, here are some more videos. I would love to see what you are creating. Please let me know in the description below. Thank you guys for all the support. I just recently went over 20K subscribers. It's been a blast. I love this journey and I just can't thank you guys enough. And I will see you next video.